Hello, this is Poonam, technical support expert for Palicon. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of implementing the end-to-end -end workflow for Palicon's distributor watermarking. This prototype was designed to help the customer understand our DWM end-to-end -end workflow. We created a user interface which allows the user to provide the input video file and the parameter details. The parameter values are updated in a JSON file that is required for the DWM embedding. Then both the files that is the video and the JSON is uploaded to the input S3 bucket. Once the file upload is complete, an event is triggered to the Lambda. The Lambda function starts the EC2 instance. We have pre-configured and set up a G4 instance for the DWM embedding. The EC2 instance downloads the JSON and the input video file uploaded on S3 and starts the DWM processing. Once the processing is complete, the output files are updated to the output S3 bucket. The details of this output file is fetched on the user interface, which helps the user to play the DWM watermarked content. Here, the user has to provide the visible watermark information that he wants to display on the video content. The recipient ID that is already registered on the Palicon console. Then, select the input video file using the choose file option. Click Upload and Process. The timeline below displays the end-to-end -end progress and other details like the timestamp, the file size, etc. The upload is now completed successfully and the DWM processing is started. The DWM processing is completed and the output file is uploaded to the output S3 bucket. The play output button can be used to play the DWM watermarked content. There is an option provided for the user to play and compare the input and the output files, which will give a fair idea on what to expect from the solution. Please check our next video for more information on content protection.